All right, fine. Now in this next one, they give us some spherical parameters. They want us to graph this thing in spherical. Sure. So why don't we go ahead and go through and do that. Here they have a fixed phi and a fixed theta, and they say our rho is bigger than 1. So if we were going to go and put it on our standard axes, x, y's, and z's, c, what we see here, c, is we got our theta is pi over 2, so we're going to go through and we're going to rotate pi over 2. That puts us on the y-axis. Now let's see what our, our, our phi does. Our phi is our rotation from our positive z. It goes pi over 4, that's about halfway. Now that it's about halfway, they say our rho is bigger than 1. This is 1. This is 1. <clears throat> so from here, whoop, whoop, our rho is bigger than 1. So da 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 So after we fixed our theta, we fixed our phi, our rho now is bigger than 1. And what you get, and it includes the endpoints, is this ray. Yeah, this ray. It keeps on going and going and going. Like that little pink money. Sure. Forever? Forever, ever? Yeah, it doesn't stop. But whatever. And over the monkeying around. We fixed our theta. We fixed our phi. Our rho is bigger than one. And you know a box. I don't know. Perhaps this is your flower.